कैसे हैं आप लोग तो आओ जा अपने कान में इयरफोन डाल लो तो डाल भी क्यों बहुत तेज हो रहा है The One Plus Eight and the Mi Ten side by side, and honestly, there's no doubt that both of these phones are premium, high-end flagship smartphones. The One Plus Eight might not be the true blue flagship, that's the Eight Pro, but it looks the same. So yeah, it looks like a flagship. Both have the curved Gorilla Glass Five front and back. Anyway, they both have the aluminium frame, and both of these look stunning. But there are some key differences. The One Plus Eight has a more matte finish thanks to its frosted glass, and this new color looks gorgeous. The Mi 10, on the other hand, also has a great color, but this has this mirrory finish that looks striking. Although it's a big, big fingerprint magnet. Compared, the One Plus 8 is smaller in size, as you can see in the dimensions, and it weighs a lot lighter, 180 grams compared to 208 grams of the Mi 10. That's a difference of 28 grams, and honestly, you can feel the difference. I switched to the One Plus 8 from the Mi 10, and it felt way better in the hands because it's just lightweight, more compact, and just more comfortable. The Mi 10 is a premium feeling phone, but it's also big and bulky. Plus, this camera hump on the Mi 10 just gets in the way every time you hold the phone. Yes, the One Plus 8 too has a minor camera bump, but the Mi 10's camera bump is huge. See, the Mi 10 has an equally powerful speaker on the bottom and on the top, so you get a more stereo sound experience. The One Plus 8 too has pretty good speakers, but its top speaker, which is in the earpiece here, isn't as loud or impactful as the Mi 10 speaker. So yeah, the Mi 10 speaker is a little better comparatively. When it comes to display, both these phones come with FHD Plus AMOLED displays with 90 hertz refresh rate, and they both have the punch hole in the left top corner. Well, as you can see, both of these phones look almost bezel-less and honestly just stunning. The Mi 10 display is marginally brighter, but it's a very small difference. Apart from that, the One Plus 8 display has a cooler tone, while the Xiaomi flagship goes for a more warmer tone. You can obviously change this in the display settings so you can have the tone you want. Now let's talk performance. Like the display, the One Plus 8 and the Mi 10 are neck to neck when it comes to under the hood specs. Snapdragon 865 UFS 3.0 storage, up to 12 gigs of LPDDR5 RAM. Yep, top of the line specs. Like I said, I have used both these phones as my daily driver, and you know what? I haven't really faced any lag or issues at all with either of these phones. I've also played a lot of PUBG Mobile, Ludo. Yeah, we're all playing that these days on these phones, and there hasn't been any problems. I also did not find any heating issues, so yeah, that's pretty good. See, Mi UI 11 on Mi 10 does not have any ads, and it uses Google's apps as default for a lot of things like phone dialer, the browser. But it's still not the premium experience I expected. The Mi 10 comes with a lot of bloatware, more than 10 apps, and I'm not even including things like Mi Credit or Mi Pay. Yeah, this is disappointing. On the other hand, Oxygen OS is the clean, bloat-free experience everyone wants on a flagship phone. I mean, it's not perfect; it has its issues, like no auto dock mode option. But it's definitely the better experience when compared to Mi UI 11. Next up, it's camera time. On paper, the Mi 10 is obviously the more powerful camera phone. It's got a 108 megapixel camera versus the 48 megapixel sensor on the OnePlus 8. But that's it. I think the rest is pretty evenly matched. Anyway, we all know that megapixels don't really mean better performance. So let me show you how these phones compare. Well, in daylight, both these phones take good shots. But let me tell you straight away that Mi 10's 108 megapixel sensor trumps the OnePlus 8's 48 megapixel sensor on most occasions. The Mi 10 photos always have more detail. I mean, let's just zoom in here. Yup, see the difference. Now here's another example, and again, let's just zoom in. Yeah, the difference is pretty apparent. But it's not just the detail. The one thing I did like about the OnePlus 8, though, it's the fact that in super low light, it automatically triggers the night mode. Whereas on the Mi 10, you have to go to the actual night mode. So that's a good addition from OnePlus. Yes, both the phones have the macro lens, and to be honest, I don't really care about macro on phones because they're mostly bad, as is the case here. But if you have to know, well, the Mi 10's macro shots are definitely better. Not by a big margin, but as this photo tells you, it's better. On the video front, the Mi 10 can shoot 8K videos, but yeah, I'm not sure I care about that enough. Anyway, here's a 4K video shot from both these phones. Well, both the phones capture really stable videos thanks to OIS, but I shot this during the golden hour, and the Mi 10's video has got the color science right. 
and just look at the road in the meet and video it's way more detailed so yeah the oneplus 8's video performance is kind of average then there are the selfie cameras 20 megapixel sensor on the mi 10 versus the 16 megapixel sensor on the oneplus 8. lastly there's the battery the oneplus 8 has a 4300 image battery with 30 watt wire charging compared to a larger 4750 image battery on the mi 10 that supports 30 watt wired as well as wireless charging on the charging front both these phones come with 30 watt chargers in the box the OnePlus 8 charges from 10 to 100 percent in 65 minutes which is pretty fast for a 4300 image battery but what's interesting is the fact that the Mi 10 which has a bigger 4750 image battery also takes 65 minutes to fully charge and that's pretty impressive now that's probably due to the fact that the 30 watt charger with the Mi 10 is the USB PD charger but yeah it is impressive nonetheless the wireless charging speed with Xiaomi's 30 watt wireless charging is also super impressive the wireless charger 2 charges the Mi 10 fully in an hour and yeah I love it plus the Mi 10 has 10 watt reverse wireless charging support so you can charge other devices like maybe your earbuds so yeah, the Mi 10 is obviously more feature packed on the charging front See, the OnePlus 8 costs less, brings a sleeker and lightweight design that's way more comfortable and it comes with Oxygen OS which is definitely a more refined and clean UI experience. The Mi 10 on the other hand has a superior main camera and a unique feature like wireless charging on board. Now if you ask me which one I would go for, it's a close call but I'll personally prefer the OnePlus 8. Simply because I'm not okay with the size and heft of the Mi 10, it's a big phone and hefty phone and the fact that Oxygen OS is just better than the UI. Having said that, the Mi 10 is still a good choice to go for if you want better cameras and wireless charging and you can live with the big size of the phone and the Mi UI blow to it.